you doing in Sonia? Feeling good, man. Good to hear, good to hear, especially after that <laughs> win for sure. Now, we've been having a discussion on the panel. One person, Harry Freak, loves a bit of Witch Doctor. Carl, not so much a fan of how it's used. I want to get your thoughts on it overall. And, and of course he likes it. <laughs> it. He just won versus Secrets with it. Harry Freak is not going to stop. Ah, go I'm, I'm just up, enabling please. Harry Freak yeah. at this point. I mean, Kyle is always wrong, first of all. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Witch Doctor... No, I, I actually don't really like playing the R too much, but it just felt yeah. like the right game for it. So we ended up going for it. Um, and it worked out. And, uh, you know, Secret's up like 7-0 and zero against us. So i just like the community to know that nobody, not even Secret, beats Liquid <laughs> eight times in a row. There that you go. That's a lesson for all of you. Yeah. How did you feel about that combination of supports from Secret, Oracle and Undying? Did you think that you really get, got them in that draft with that? Um... I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Like, I, I can see a reality in which it works out for them, but uh, I don't think it's something they're super comfortable with. Like, I, I don't think I've seen Yapser play too much Oracle in the past. So, um, in that way, it felt nice. You know, you don't want to play against some Yapser Rubik. So, if you can have him on an Oracle instead, it, it's much it feels like a bit of an yeah. edge, even though it might be good for the game. Uh, yeah. Uh, were you sh surprised they didn't put Bat mid? Because I thought that was the purpose of the last pick. And as a follow-up, you guys have said to me multiple times, if Lone Druid's in the pool, we're going to pick Lone Druid, we're going to win. Why'd you stop doing that? You know, sometimes winning gets boring, and you try to like mix it up, get some losses in there. <laughs> they get one uh, win versus Secret, and this, <laughs> this is the attitude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, Lone Druid, I don't know. We, I think sometimes we tend to, especially since I'm the one drafting, tend to forget like what our strengths are and move mm. away from them a bit. And then uh, we get lost, and we, yeah, we do some weird stuff, and then it doesn't look so great. But I feel like we're finally starting to like find a little bit of rhythm again. Cool. Uh, like Nigma last and now Secret, so it feels pretty good. Cool. And uh, we're... Um, I lost my whole train of thought. Never mind. That's all right. I got a question for him. Were you surprised by the performance that Nip put up against you guys? Because obviously they've become the, the dark horses as such coming into this. I mean, all, all I know about that team is that Soneko is the best support player in the world, and I hate playing against him. So I'm not surprised whenever any team with that guy does well. I think he's a beast and he's kind of been like forgotten by the community in some way, but I know I used to watch his replays all the time. I still do. He's extremely good and I think he'll make any team amazing. So I'm not too surprised, but High of praise. course it's cool to see another team. Yeah. Popping up in Europe. Do you reckon they'll make it to playoffs? Uh, it's hard to say. I, there's so many good teams right now in this like tournament. So you don't know, like maybe, yeah, it's hard to say. The same question we ask pretty much everyone. How do you feel playing offline all the time, not being able to go on LAN events? Does it benefit your team? Is it uh, bad for you? Um, I think it's a pretty well-known fact about us, but we, we like to hang out with each other and we like to spend time together. I think we've been on the road quite a bit, so it was nice to have like a little bit of a break, but I think we all miss being at boot camp now and like scurrying around and you know enjoying each other's company, but... It's hard to complain when you get to be home for a while after what? you've been like on the road for two years. What's that like, Insania, being on a team where you enjoy each other's company? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, don't you have some experience with that yourself? Oh, a decent amount, I think. I was just curious yeah. to get your perspective. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. I think uh, sometimes it can get be a bit too much fun-focused and not enough win-focused. But it's something that we're working on and hopefully uh, we'll get right. Over time. Oh. My final question to you is, out of the rest of the teams you've got to face throughout this, which one would be the, the most important win you want to try and achieve now you've taken down these guys today? I mean, the most important win is always the next one, right? So Ooh, uh, I good think it's uh, OG for us next up. <laughs> and it also um, is the pro most likely the strongest mm -hmm. team that's coming, right? Yeah. I mean, like I said, we'd never beaten Secret before, so... Uh, this was probably like for us, like mentally, a pretty big win. Um, in terms of if you want to like compare for our team, who we looked like thought are the scariest to play against, mm. the price at secret. Um, OG is a fun team though. You get to play and you get to fight a lot, which is it's a good time. We enjoy that, so it'll be a fun game to watch. I'm sure.
Oh, I'm sure it will. They have been across the board, and you gave us an exciting game today as well. I'll let you get on, though, man. Thank you very much for joining us to talk things through.